a contract, but you're also supposed to create a project schedule. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to go and look inside of Canva. You can do it in Canva. You could do it in Google Slides. That's fine. Uh, this is my home page. Then I'm just going to type in calendar right there. I'm going to hit enter. So I'm going to hit enter. Then it says create a blank, or you can just grab one of these and go with it. Just click, customize this template. Boom, we're up and running already. So this is going to generate it for me. I don't have to worry about making boxes, numbering, everything. That's a waste of time. You want to put your, atten your attention, your energy, and your focus on where you need to, which is putting the information in. So I have my entry doc. Remember, this is inside of Echo. You will go and you will find at the very bottom of Echo, the entry doc, and you copy the one that fits for you. So if you are doing plan A, plan one, you just copy the, your benchmarks. So this is benchmark one, this is benchmark two, benchmark three, benchmark four, benchmark five. Now that is, all of these make up that benchmark. If you want to create them to where this is benchmark one, two, three, four, that is totally fine. But then just know this is group one. This is five, six, seven, eight. This is group two, or phase two. You can certainly call it that. Okay. But once you have these, if you're A, B, or there's even C at the very, very bottom, if you go back and look, here's plan C. Um, just for now, I'm going to copy command C, come back to my calendar. Uh, I'm going to click an empty spot and I'm going to hit command V. Now it's going to paste those into here. It's taking a little while, a little bit longer. It's right there. That's fine. It's not exactly where I need it. I need to put it on January 13th. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab this. And a lot of you are like, oh, but it's Saturday. Right now, I just want you to grab it and put it there. It's fine. If it's on an off, weird day, your job is just to put it there. You can even shrink it. I'm going to keep it 10. Oh, it's too big. So it fits better. 10. So I can see all these things that are due. If I need to make them bullet, I'll make them bullets. So I can see those three things are due on, on Saturday. It's really going to be Friday. So just move it up. If it, look, if it looks like it's on a Saturday, bump it up to a Friday. And then same thing here, I'm going to do all these are due January, copying those, Command C. So I'm going to click and move, says the 18th. It might change, but it's okay. And then if they're different things, I click on it and then hit the bullets and it'll catch that, that it's four things. Leave it there. So now you're starting to see all this stuff is due. This may get shifted. So know when you share this with everyone that you can always move it around and if it's shifted, then everyone else is just gonna follow. Okay, so right now it's there. Your job is just to put the dates down. Don't think too much about the dates. I want you just to see these are the dates. I'll do it one more time. So here is, I'm gonna copy this one. Command C, again, it's for January the 25th. That right here, then I'm gonna do Command V and it'll be a lot faster. And then I click the bullet so I can see that it's individual ones. So now I can see this, but if I ever need to move it, I can go boop. Or if I need to split it up later and we talk about it in class, I'm just gonna make like a copy and it should pop open. There it is. And say, hey guys. We decided that this is gonna fit better because of our schedule. So this is just an example. It doesn't mean that we're gonna do this. So now it's like this is there, but then these are on these days. So it's easy to move that way. You can also put your days that you're off. So let me just that. So we know that January 15th, no school. Just because there's no school does not mean that the assignments 
I completely disregarded the check with, and this is for all facilities, check with their dates. Okay, so now you can see no school. You can do that in a different color just to catch everyone's attention. No school. So just go and plug these dates into the calendar so we can see.